Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, let's face some questions around the UiPath extension. Now the very first question, what are the different methods available for installing or uninstalling UiPath extension in UiPath Studio? What are the different methods? Your options are A, only through the Home Tools UiPath extension menu in the UiPath Studio. B, using setupextension.exe tool in the installation directory. Are you aware of this? C, both through Home Tools UiPath extension and using setupextension.exe tool from specific installation directory. D, exclusively through the command prompt using the setupextension.exe. Now, pause this video, comment your answer. You can comment like question one, answer is A, B, C, whatever it is, right? So comment your answer. Okay, I hope you have commented the answer. Let me reveal the answer. The answer is C. We can do it, we can install the extension using the Home Tools UiPath extension option in UiPath Studio and also by using setupextension.exe. Now for this dem demo, if you haven't seen, please watch the previous video. You will see the entire demo, how you can install using setup extension in the command line. Let's move on to our second question. What is the primary purpose of UiPath extensions in UiPath Studio? This appears a very simple question. Options are to enhance the appearance of the studio interface, Option B, to enable native detection of UI elements in various application and environments. C, to provide additional coding functionalities within Studio. D, to facilitate cloud-based storage and collaboration features. Now you know what is the right answer. Please do pause the video and answer, comment your answer. I hope you have already done it. So let me reveal the answer. The answer is B, to enable native detection of UI elements in various applications and environments. Okay, so this is the right answer. Thank you guys for watching. Let's move on to next topic.